Good morning children. I am Ms. Vinita Soni, your English teacher for standard 5th. Today we are going to do English language. We are going to start with the revision of the last academic year, what you have done. We are starting a new academic year today. So we are going to start with the revision first of what you have done in your previous classes. We are going to start with nouns. Noun is a part of speech. Now what is a part of speech? There are many words in a sentence which have their own use and they are classified into different parts of speech. There are eight parts of speech. They are nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, interjections, preposition and conjunctions. Today we are going to deal with nouns. Now what is a noun? A noun is the name of a person, place, animal or a thing. For example, a fan, your city, Bangalore, your blackboard. Everything is a noun. Now, nouns are again divided, classified into different types. We are going to learn about it. Proper noun, common noun, collective noun, abstract noun and concrete noun. Now what is a proper noun? Now particular pla people, pla places, all these are proper nouns. For example, Akbar, he was a great king. So Akbar is a proper noun. Your name itself is a proper noun. The city Bangalore is a proper noun. Now, see for example, Ashoka is a wise king. Ashoka here is a proper noun. Now we come to common nouns. Common noun is a name given to every kind of a person or a place of a particular kind. For example, king, toy, all these are common nouns. Over here again you see, Ashoka is a wise king. Ashoka is a proper noun, but king can be any king. It can be Akbar or he can be Ashoka. So king is taken as a common noun. Now we come to Collective nouns. Collective nouns are a group of all things taken as a whole, like a cluster of stars, a fleet of ships. When all the ships are there together, they are taken as collective nouns. So, fleet of ships is fleet is a collective noun. A swarm of bees. Swarm is a collective noun because many bees are there in a place. So, this is called a collective noun. For example, the cluster of stars look pretty. Here many stars are there in the sky where we are seeing it together. This is what is called a cluster. So cluster is a collective noun. Now we come to abstract noun. The nouns which we cannot see, just feel the presence of it are called abstract nouns. For example, happiness. Happiness we cannot see, we can just feel. That is what is called collective noun. For example, honesty is the best policy. You can see an honest man, but the honesty, the good feeling behind him is what is the thing which we cannot see. This is what is called the abstract noun. So honesty is an abstract noun. Now concrete nouns. The nouns, the common nouns that are the names of anything that have their existence are called concrete nouns. Now concrete nouns can be of different types. Stars is a concrete noun. The lion is a concrete noun because we can see them and they are all common nouns. So whatever are common nouns which we can feel, the, so we can see the presence of it are called concrete nouns. I will be giving you more examples to make it more clear for you. Mountains is a common noun. But Himalayas is a proper noun. Courage, courageous is, a, is an abstract noun. Because we cannot see, we can just feel. Bravery is an abstract noun. Collective nouns. The school of fish. School is a collective noun. Bouquet of flowers. Flowers. So flowers when all together is a bouquet. This is what is a collective noun. 
I'm going to give you a few activities which you're going to do and then you are going to submit, uh, you're going to do it on a sheet of paper and bring it when the school reopens. Now I'll give you a few examples for proper nouns and common nouns and we are going to try to solve these examples. Now, we are going to underline the proper nouns and put a tick to the common nouns in the following examples. Anjali wrote many books. So now Anjali is the name of a person. It is proper noun. We are going to underline this. And books can be any book. So it's a common noun. We are going to put a tick to it. Next we take the children play many games. Here we don't have any proper noun because children can be any, ch any child. So it's not a particular person we are talking about. So here we've got both children and games as common noun because we are not talking about any particular game. Now we come to Raman bought a car. Raman is the name of a person. So Raman is a proper noun. We underline this and car, which type of car is given we don't know. It's just a car. So we are going to take it as a common noun. Now, Rita is fond of cartoons. Same way, Rita is the name of a girl. So it's a proper noun and cartoons is common noun. The red fort is in Delhi. Here, again, we have got both these places as a particular place. So we are going to take it as Proper noun. So red fort is proper noun and again Delhi is a proper noun. So we are underlining all the or both of them as proper nouns. So you can see that there are different sentences where we come across sometimes one is a proper, one is a common. In the second sentence we don't have proper nouns. We've taken both as common. Again when we come to the fifth sentence we have both as proper nouns. It is not necessary that in a particular sentence we will get all the proper nouns or all common nouns. We might get one proper, one common or we might get both the proper nouns or both as common nouns. Now I'll give you collect a few collective nouns examples which I'm going to write and show it to you. We saw was in the basket. So bunch, lots of grapes when taken together is bunch of grapes. So bunch of grapes, so bunch is a collective noun. soldiers marching in line on the ground. When many soldiers we see sometimes they are marching on the ground in a group it is called an army of soldiers. So army is a collective noun.
When anyone we invite any guest for any meeting or for a seminar, we give them flowers. So when we give them in a bunch together, it is called a bouquet of flowers. So bouquet is a collective noun. Now abstract nouns. Again a few examples for abstract noun. The first one. King Solomon is known for his wisdom. So wisdom is, is the quality of King Solomon which is not seen. It can be just felt. So it's wisdom is the abstract noun. We must learn to fight for justice. Justice is an abstract noun. Hatred are not good qualities. So envy and hatred are abstract nouns because we cannot see them, see it. We can just feel these qualities of a person. So envy and hatred are abstract nouns. This is how we complete all the nouns. Now I'm going to just recall what we have done so that we have a just a summary of all the nouns which we've done. First we dealt with the parts of speech, the different parts of speech. Then, then we came to nouns, nouns of different types like proper noun, common noun, abstract noun, collective noun and concrete noun. In proper noun, we dealt with a few examples like Akbar, Birbal, the name of a place or a person, all these are proper nouns. Then we came to common nouns like fan, ceiling, blackboard, all these are common nouns, we came to collective noun. When we have a group together, it's called a collective noun, like fleet of ships, like fleet is a collective noun. Then we came to abstract noun, which where we can just feel the, uh, feel the, you know, we can get a feeling of the things, we, can, we don't just see all those things, it is called a uh, abstract, it is called an abstract noun, like honesty, envy, hatred, or merriment, all these are abstract nouns, we came to concrete nouns. The common nouns which we can see feel the presence of it are all concrete nouns. Like for example, a toy or a blackboard or a bench or a chair, all these are concrete nouns. With this, we end with our chapter of nouns. Now I am going to give you a few activities which you are going to practice it at home and I will, show, uh, we will the, read the headings of what is being given and then do it accordingly. Thank you. Children, now I am going to start with the activities for what we have done for the whole class. That is the nouns with all its different parts. That is the proper noun, common noun, abstract noun, concrete noun and collective noun. I am going to give you different activities regarding all these nouns. First one. Circle the proper noun and underline the common noun. First one. Panchatantra is a story book. Mumbai is called the dream city. Dimple often has cheeseburgers for lunch. Yamuna is a big river. There are many deer, 
zebras and tigers in the zoo. The Jock Fall is in Karnataka. It is one of the highest waterfalls in India. Uncle Sam lives in his large house. Winston, uh, Winston Churchill was one of the greatest Prime Ministers of England. Charu is a naughty girl. Stephen had to hang a picture on the wall. Children, be very careful when you are underlining the proper noun, underlining the common noun and circling the proper noun. Because even though sometimes you know the answers, you make mistakes for uh, circling the common noun and underlining the proper noun, for which you lose your marks during exams. Now we come to the next exercise. Write a proper noun for the following common nouns. First month of the year, the name of the national flower of India. Last day of the week, name of a city, a name of a book. Any book which you have read, you can write the name of it. A monument, you might have visited many places with your parents and have seen many monuments. You can write any monument of your choice. A name of a person starting with the alphabet D. Your relatives, your friends, anyone whose name starts with the alphabet D can be written. A name of a mountain, a holy book, any holy book can be written. The name of the president of India. You can write the president, any president of India from these years. You can also write the name of the present president of our country. The third main, underline the abstract nouns and circle the concrete nouns. Children always remember that common nouns are the concrete nouns which you can feel, which you can touch and you can see. But abstract nouns are the ones which you cannot see. You can just feel it. Now we start with the exercise. The soldiers were rewarded for their bravery. A teacher must have patience. During childhood, Seema was a very naughty girl. The little boy always spoke the truth. There was a theft in my neighbor's house. The fourth main. Fill in the blanks from the abstract nouns formed from the words given in the brackets. First one. We can go home after the dash of the flight. The word is depart. Dash is rewarded. Word is kind. His uncle is a storehouse of dash. The word is no. King Solomon was famous for his dash. The word is wise. What is the dash of this room? The word is broad. One more I forgot to tell you. The company prospered under his dash. The, answer, the word is leader. Now I go to the seventh one. Dash is a curse. The word is poor. The the dash of the child filled the room. The word is laugh. Rekha lives in my dash. The word is neighbor. Elephants have dash. The word is strong. <coughs> now we come to the fifth main. Fill in the blanks with the collective nouns from the words given below to complete the sentences. I am going to read out the words. Team, swarm, class, bouquet, bundle, crowd, band, fleet, bunch, committee. Now the sentences. The old man asked his sons to bring him a dash of sticks. Second one. A dash of bees flew out of the hive. Third one. A large dash of people gathered in the street. Fourth, our dash has 25 students. Fifth, a dash of five was appointed. Six, we saw a dash of ships in the harbour. Seventh, I gave my mother a dash of roses for her birthday. You will also be getting many gifts for your birthday. You also give your mother sometimes something for her birthday. So this is one of the gifts which you have given to your mother. Rohit ate a dash of grapes. My favorite football dash is playing on Sunday. 
the batch of musicians were ready for the program. Now we come to the last but not the least. This is a very important assignment to be done. You have to make form a paragraph out of the words which have been given below. These all are the different types of nouns which I have given to you. You have to take the other parts of speech, join and make meaningful sentences and frame a paragraph. The words, I'm going to read it out for you now. Now the activity is, use some or all of the nouns given below to write a paragraph on your own. Add a few more nouns and different parts of speech to make it a meaningful sentence. Add a few proper nouns to complete your paragraph. Now the words which I have given you. Excursion, train, holiday, national park, city, forest, bus, laughter, excitement, a herd of elephants, a family of tea. You can take all these words or you can add, delete a few words, add a few extra words from your side, add a few more uh, parts of speech and complete a paragraph. Don't worry, be happy. We are going to come very soon to meet each other in the school. So, till then, goodbye. Thank you.